Turning now to a new offering on viewabnews.com, the Inside Iran blog, written by Nigar Mortazavi and Arash Karimi, they have tackled many important issues facing Iran, such as corruption, politics, press freedom, and the death of a popular Iranian actress. Now, I sat down with Nagar and Arash for more on their blog and how they cover their homeland for an audience outside looking in. I think covering Iran right now is a little bit difficult and tricky or challenging. Let's say you have to be very creative, specifically for us working for a U.S. funded Persian media outside the country. There's a lot of sensitivity. We can't go to the country. We can't report from the field. So it's hard to get material and I think social media is sort of filling a void that is that distance, that physical distance and there's a lot of creative ways that the people, the citizens themselves are aware of and are using social media to sort of disseminate this information and for us on this end to try to pick up that information. We have a lot of activity on social media whether it's Facebook or Twitter and we kind of see stories that never get picked up. We thought we could show a different side of Iran that's rarely discussed. Recently there's an actress that died there's a huge social media reaction to it. There's a lot of responses to it. So we kind of try to capture that. Working out of the United States, but covering Iranian issues and broadcasting inside Iran, primarily in Farsi. Um, what kinds of personal experiences have you faced? Me, I'm always personally torn because our blog is in English. So I always ask myself, what are we doing and what is it serving? So a lot of the times it, you want to get information out to people. And the thing is, like, who are we sending the information out to? Who's our audience? So you, you want to be careful. You don't want to just uh, pick up something and beat it to death and say, oh, look how bad they are, look how horrible it is. Because we aren't discussed, we aren't talking to a local population. We're talking to people that are interested in Iran. So I'm, I'm always conscious of giving them the whole picture and trying to give them a whole perspective of what it is. We picked a name for the blog Inside Iran, meaning trying to bring what's inside Iran to outside of Iran, to the audience, the non-Iranian audience. And an example would be our latest post about the earthquake, right, about 40 people died, a thousand people were injured, a hundred of them in critical conditions as we right. wrote, 700 houses were destroyed. But we figured we were just uh, looking through conventional media, let's say. What everybody had picked up on was that this earthquake happened next to a nuclear site where one of Iran's nuclear reactors are, which, um, I mean, not that that's not part of the story, but that's what causes the attention, that's what becomes the headline. So you're trying to bring actually the, the ground level exactly. information. And you yourself, Nagar, you had a personal experience being a, a journalist working for the Voice of America with your family in Iran. Can you talk to us about that? Sure. I mean, working for VOA Persian, and this is just the case with other foreign-based Persian media, VOA Persian, BBC Persian, and Radio Farda, which is our sister organization, there's a lot of sensitivity on the journalists, people who do content, and on-air personalities. That's why some of our colleagues don't even use their own names. So recently, my family had been pressured. The security forces came to our house. They searched our house, took the electronics. My parents have been to, my father specifically has been to interrogations, and the demand is that that I stopped working for the Persian media. There's not much sensitivity on English coverage of Iran news, but on Persian there is. And how has that affected that experience? How has that affected your commitment to your work? I mean, it's very emotional and it's a tough decision, which I kind of made this decision way back when I started working, decided to start working for VOA Persian and use my own name, my own identity, and be on air with my own face and everything. But uh, it's a constant challenge. Sometimes you just think whether it's worth it or not and the price that you're paying might be so high. So Imran, I think it's really important to take note of what Nagar was just talking about in, in the dangers that yeah. a lot of journalists face reporting from all over the world, really. And I know in Pakistan specifically, there have been a lot of cases of journalists being targeted. Absolutely. As you know, uh, CPJ, uh, Community to Protect, Protect Journalists, said that it's one of the most volatile regions in the world for journalists. And in fact, VOA has lost a correspondent uh, in the recent months. So it is pretty tough. Absolutely. Well, if you want to find out more about uh, Nagar and Arash's blog, you will find it at the VOAnews.com homepage in the blog section. And again, it's called Inside Iran.